of uh, the double there. So what will be, obviously the end result is we want you to double manual from the roller through the double. What could you do before that to get you used to it? Yeah, manual bit, well done. So be careful, conscious of your speed. Again, this is just working on the base skills, not about going flat out. But let's pick up onto there. A little hop to uh, ET. Manual across. And then you can go for the double main and let's see if we the first to crack it. Off we go. Why are we doing this? Because we're evil? Go on, Tug. Bike control. Bike control, yeah. Any other reasons? In a race, Quite often somebody will crash in front of you, or you'll be in third place and the guy in second will take up the person that's in first. You don't always rail a berm or get the opportunity to do a really smooth, low high. Things will happen and things will be in your way. That's why you need to have complete control of your bike so you can actually turn quite tightly. And like we said earlier, you need to practice your corners just as much as you practice your jumping, your manuals, your gates and everything else. So, even away from the track, you can put some cones, whether it's just a simple figure of eight shape or whatever shape you like, in a car park or over the park or whatever, and make yourself be able to turn like this. It's hard, it's uncomfortable, it's not enjoyable at first at all, because it is so uncomfortable and you just keep feeling like you're going to slide out. So there's two things you can do. There's one, forget about it and not improve very much, or two, deal with it and just keep working and working and working until you are comfortable with it and then you make it even harder still and that's the whole point um, of all this training is don't just do what you're comfortable with because that's easy you've got to really challenge yourself and again think to yourself what's going to make me a better racer it's another one of those tiny little bits we were talking about earlier that if you can just corner slightly smoother it might make you an inch closer to the finish line just like if you packed your bag properly and you weren't stressing before a race it might make you an inch closer to the finish line all these things are going to add up so, I probably told you this story before, or some of you this story before. Um, basically, one of the, I've forgotten his name now, one, one of the really good American, Olympic American swimmers, his coach um, purposely stood on his goggles and broke his lens, made him go and do his training, and obviously he really struggled because he was swimming with his water in his face. The swimmer couldn't work out why he did it, and then in one of the Olympics, he, he dived into the pool and his goggles moved up and he got water in there. And he, he still won, he didn't get the, the, his best time that he had done, but he still won that Olympic race and then actually realised why his trainer had done what he had done. It's about being comfortable, being uncomfortable, because that's how you become a much better athlete all round. So there's a reason for that, and it's just like doing these tight corners where there's a good chance you're going to slide out. Because when you come into a race and everybody crashes in front of you, look at Trey at the Worlds when it was uh, in Holland and everybody crashed in front. He got back on his bike pretty quick because always at Manchester, unless your leg's fallen off, if you crash, you jump straight back on your bike and you finish whatever you were going to do because at some point, something's going to go wrong. And if when you're in panic, headless chicken mode, and everybody's grabbing for their bikes and you go, oh, what do I do at this point? You're going to get overtaken. Whereas if you practice that so many times, you will automatically jump straight back on your bike and try and get to the finish line. So that's the reason for doing what we're doing.